Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, this is Faithful Rattos. You might see some of my little rats in the background of this video whilst I talk to you about something that I think is very important and something that needs to be addressed and something that makes me very, very angry. <laughs> So yesterday it came to my attention that People Magazine published this article and it's called Woman Celebrates Graduation with Beloved Pet Rat Who Helped Her Through Her Master's Programme. Pet Rat Singular. Now a lot of you now may be getting concerned as I was concerned when I saw this article being shared around Facebook groups. Pet rat. One singular pet rat. Now this girl called Sarah Martin, I feel comfortable sharing her name a, because it's in the article that's in the public domain, and B, because when, as I'll get into a bit later on in the video, when people were kindly, including myself, kindly offering her advice about the situation, she blocked people, she deleted comments, and she went on private. And because of that, I feel comfortable using her name. I did make a TikTok yesterday before when I gave her the benefit of the doubt in the situation, and I didn't mention her name in that video. I even blurred her name out of the article when I used it in the background of my video. However, now with her actions, I am comfortable using her name because it's already in the public domain and she's like made her bed and I think she needs to lie in it. Oh, hi, Cora. Are you gonna say how angry you are? Ratty shouldn't be alone, should they? So basically, this article goes into Sarah's life I guess and that she felt lonely and isolated while she was doing her master's program because of the pandemic and so she decided to get a pet rat at the suggestion of her friend and this rat was five weeks old when Sarah got her five weeks old a tiny little baby that shouldn't have been separated from its siblings at this age let alone rehomed alone. So I know wherever she got this rat from was either a pet shop or an unethical breeder, which is rather shocking to me because even in the UK, pet shops that have lots of issues with them still do not house or sell rats alone. So wherever she got this rat from wasn't a good source. And this poor baby was kept alone, is now nearing two years of age and has been alone for the majority of its life. The second issue that I have, besides, I'm so annoyed, besides her keeping this lone rat, is the fact that this, from what I found on her Instagram before it went private, this is what the rat is housed in. A tiny little plastic tub that you put breed insects in, that you would house springtails in, or wood lice or even isopods. That's what that rat is living in. Now, I don't know whether she's upgraded since then, but this is the only evidence, the only evidence of what this rat lives in that I found on her online presence. Now, isn't that sad? My boyfriend has his arm raised, so I think he wants to add something. I saw something about apparently it was a rescue rat from a lab rat, but rat review has a rescue rat from rat labs, and they're not alone. The only one alone is Daisy's a hamster, but she's a hamster. You know, um, that's, that's a good point. Not even labs who test on animals keep lone rats. But even the, the rat review has many rats. I know people, very large online creators, who've had rats, rats from labs. In pairs. Not homed at five weeks old. So if that is the case, where did you hear that? In the comments. In the, who sent it in the comments? Some random person or her? I don't remember. That is the case. I'm not impressed and this is getting getting me all riled up again but I wanted to film this video and put it out because I thought this is something really important that we need to talk about that it seems whenever rats go viral or um, a big news outlet like People Magazine pick up the story it is always the story of a lone rat. So you have this poor girl called Remy. Ice Cube the rat, which is a controversial topic because Ice Cube was saved from the streets. However, Ice Cube had severe frostbite and had four, all four of his limbs amputated, as well as part of his tail. Couldn't walk, couldn't eat, couldn't climb. 
and in the end of his life had a tumour almost the size of him and wasn't put to sleep. And he was alone, and he was alone. So I have a real big problem that it seems the only rats that go viral are lone rats. And this is a really dangerous precedent to set because a lot of people when they buy pets are not educated and they do not go out and further research. They will just take the word from this viral story and run with it and they don't care to research further and then they don't care to research further and buy from an ethical breeder or from an ethical source or from a rescue or whatnot. They will just find the nearest rat they can and take it. And this isn't this is the case for I think a lot of different animals but it's definitely the case for rats and it really worries me. Now this story could have done so much good for rats reputation because we all know a rat's reputation is really terrible but if this story was about somebody who had a group of rats who cared for their rats properly and didn't just use them as a social media puppet this story could have done a world of good. Instead it's done a world of harm and I'm really really concerned and saddened with the knowledge that this is going to make people go out and buy one single rat and keep them alone in poor conditions. And the worst part about it is at the end of the article, I'll read it to you. Know their natural needs and behaviours because as long as you're, they're doing things that let them carry out their natural behaviours they'll be a lot happier and healthier. Excuse me? What about a fucking ratty friend? Well, I'd be wrong with being a feeder rat, but it's still the right view also have feeder rats. Yeah, but that's a whole different issue, but one single feeder rat, still. Anyway, so I also reached out to the author of this article, who is called Kelly Bender, and I reached out to her on the only platform I could find her on, which is LinkedIn. She viewed my LinkedIn profile, and I haven't heard from her. And... I sent a really polite message voicing the concerns that the rat community in general had and I haven't heard a response from her. Clearly Sarah is in no way interested in righting her wrongs and leading by example and doing better for her rat that she so apparently loves but yet won't even meet its needs. So to sum up this video, I think there needs to be a huge shift in how the media sort of glorifies these cute pet stories without doing the proper research into what actually is needed. This isn't the first time this year I've got mad about things to do with rats and the public. So for example, a massive vet show, vet reality show called Bondi Vet, which is mostly based in Australia, had a YouTube video that went up, I'll put the picture of it here, where two vets, the two twin vets that are on that show, went over to see this baby little rat in a tiny ass cage, barely eight weeks old with a respiratory infection by itself, and the vets didn't tell him that it needed company, they didn't have a clue really what they were talking about, and in general there seems to be this trend of not providing accurate information when it goes along with the story and this is the fault of the reporter and not only the fault of the owner and I'm just really saddened by this and I wanted to make a video because it's something that I can't just sit by and watch because it is so sad. I just can't imagine I just can't imagine doing something like that. I can't imagine people telling you how to do better by your pets and ignoring them and blocking them and making your account private just because you made a mistake. You are you put yourself in the public sphere by having an article on People magazine. You put yourself in the firing line and it's not even a firing line. No one was giving hateful comments. People were saying nice, polite advice in the comments. I didn't see one hateful comment, yet she won't right her wrongs and I'm hoping that this video gets some sort of reach, not just the rat community because it's really saddening and I said saddening so much but I really am truly 
deeply saddened by it and I hope that in the future less and less of these types of articles come out and that more and more people are aware of how pets need to have their needs met before you consider your own personal gain from it. It makes me sad that she got this rat to help her own mental health because she was lonely and still can't see how keeping a rat alone is okay and she still can't see where the problem lies when she felt that in herself. It's just, again, really sad. Um, I was hoping some of my rattos would make an appearance but it is clearly time for a nap. So that is the end of this video. I hope that this video can start a discussion online about how articles like this are presented and how we can go forward and change this and make the viral stories about rats positive viral stories about a rat that have good care and their needs are met and they're not on their own. Thanks for watching.